there we go. Cool. So um, last time we left off, uh, the uh, Zogchen and Norovar were taken to the arena within the pit, to the large uh, labor camp. Um, this was a year after they had entered the camp. So we flash forwarded a year. Um, during that year, <clears throat> uh, they had endured several hardships, but had also kind of managed to subvert some elements, trying to figure out ways to escape and finding it nigh impossible. However, though, I believe uh, one of you, I can't remember which one it was, uh, had actually managed to like secure a cache of weaponry, uh, mostly daggers and a short sword. It wasn't a whole lot. I think that was me. Yeah. So you managed to kind of kind of like, you know, have your own little staff, stuff like that. However, though, uh, Zogchen would, had worked his way through the arena and had gone to meet their champion, a centaur named the Trouncer. Michael. Yeah! <laughs> Michael Shung. <laughs> and I got my ass kicked. He got, yeah, he came in talking a lot of shit and he took a mouthful of hoof. <laughs> 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 he matched my urination. Like, I peed in the arena and then I forgot, uh, yeah, right oh, yeah, I forgot, yeah, I forgot, yeah, he peed, he yeah, like, yeah, the centaur, yeah, the centaur yeah. demonstrated, he's very sound <laughs> in this regard, kind of demonstrated his prowess <laughs> and urinating, and then Sog was like, I guess that's what we do, and, um, <laughs> I missed that completely, I guess really that's did, yeah. I went to get my laundry, so. <laughs> I think you were doing your laundry, yeah, uh, I, I think you, yeah. my character was out getting popcorn, like, so I was, <laughs> by the way, guys, I was way, just guys, watching you, this whole thing, if you haven't read the first print of the Dungeons and Dragons adventure, Descent into Avernus, the greatest typo is in it. And it's describing a scene where they come upon this party and one of them is an elf and they're in the hells. And the line supposed to be the elf, um, the elf looks into the distance, peering into the wind, peering into the hot wind. And it, the mist is uh, mist has, it's typed as a is, uh, peeing in the wind, in the hot wind. Nice. And it's like the best scene ever. Like just like it sounds about right. Sounds like a better image than anything else. Like I feel <laughs> yeah. like like, King like in the whoever heart. wrote that should be the new Tolkien. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, Legolas peeing in the wind would have been a lot more interesting. Um, so, uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's kind of what's happened. Um, and during this uh, fight, uh, the Trouser noticed a disturbance, which was the large iron tower in the middle of the pit where the list uh, Jarzok resides, along with his wizards. Um, under the watchful eye of uh, Zash, uh, Zahash, they, um, it began to fell, fall. Um, it began to tear in the middle. Pieces wow. in the middle were just kind of evaporating of a solid iron piece. Um, the fight ended uh, and they all ran for cover in caves as this thing came down. <laughs> um, in the last few months, uh, Morbarn had disappeared. Uh, some thought Maybe uh, real quick is Warren Barn uh, male, female, uh, non-binary? Um. Well, I think the figurines that you I can do anything. Were, they can be anything. Kind of saw. I I did see myself as a male. Okay. But more Barn's a dude um, then. Yeah. More Barn's a dude. Okay. More Barn's it. got nards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, you gotta kind of yeah, very 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 short. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> Morborn had had um, disappeared. Some thought was dragged off and killed. Some thought was caved in. Others thought maybe they might they might have been in a um, uh, fighting finding a way to resist and to escape. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Favorite yeah, point. I'm not dead, dude. Like you're not dead. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you're aware of what recently happened. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, hey, I can I can piss in a ring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, Morbard, in your in your efforts to kind of subvert, you actually have encountered a uh, and, and, and Saria is female, correct? Saria. Yeah. Okay, Saria. Mm -hmm. You have encountered a another a half elf in the camp as well. Um, that was that you conspired with named uh, Saria Shadow Mantle. Um, Saria seems to have, uh, is partially Wood Elf um, as part of the Shinnok group. Uh, this is the, you've heard of the Shinnok uh, around, um, they're largely refugees around the world, but they do have some uh, places here. Uh, Zogchen talked about working with like a, 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 a Shinnok uh, monastery at one point, but you do, but you have picked up pretty, pretty quickly though that it, even if you were to escape, 
the, one of the major issues would be trying to like survive in this like harsh environment, trying to walk out. It wouldn't exactly be easy. Um, and you found that uh, Saraya seems to have a rather robust skill set for this kind of stuff. Okay. So, um, as you guys have been hiding in the caves of the mines around the pit, uh, you hear a large crash. The earth shakes. I mean, it shakes. You think that the mine might have come down. As you go to kind of inspect how, if you can even get out of the mine, you come upon a trio of individuals. You recognize them as Norovar, the half elf. Um, do you ever discuss, de determine if Norovar's like ancestry is wood elf or high elf or a launder? And you just not know. He actually doesn't know. Maybe he's just half elf, half elf. He's a child of two half elves. He doesn't even know. He was an orphan, so he doesn't. He has no idea okay. where he's from. That's true. He is. He just knows where he's going. I like that. I like he's going to redemption. That's where he's going. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where I was at. I'm just going towards redemption. He barely knows that. He's like, fuck it. Let's try and figure this out. <laughs> um, you you see a uh, a rather uh, pale, uh, compared for the for this place, a pale uh, half elf uh, standing there, um, wearing just clothes, just basic clothing. Um, you see a uh, what amounts to like just a borderline naked. Dwagar with obsidian skin, white beard. Um, and he looks pretty beat up. He's got some pretty massive wounds on him, but he's still ticking. And the the width of this uh, entire cavern is taken up by a centaur, uh, which you two recognize as <laughs> the trouncer, the local champion in the pit arena, the pit's arena. So. Warbarn, you're alive. <laughs> What the hell, yeah. man? We were looking for you. Where you been? And <laughs> I just I went on a I just went on a walk and then all of a sudden you guys did all sorts of cool shit. Thankfully I ran into Saria who saved my butt because I got lost. Yeah. Another half elf. Nobody told me there were others yeah. in the camp. That would have been nice. I thought I was I see a few around. I thought I was. Well, those guys were jerks. They don't count. <laughs> I hated those guys. Agreed. <laughs> the snobs. Dude, did you see? Uh, did, I don't know if you noticed the, the tower fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, what are we going to do? Was Which there way? a way out? Which way, way did you guys come in? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you haven't. You actually, you guys didn't try to go back up to the top of the of the cavern. Um, you guys just kind of ran as deep as you could go. Um, yes. And then dust did come through, but you don't know if it's blocked or not. Um, although, uh, of all of you that would have the best <clears throat> understanding of if the cavern is blocked or not is Zogchen. Yeah. Uh, spot, but you guys kind of oh. look at Zogchen and you're like, well, dude. I, I actually have a question. Did they come in from deeper in the mine deeper, or did they right. come the way? Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So, yeah. So, Green, the boulder. Yeah. The boulder. Yeah. I unfortunately, boys. I kept that shirt that you drew on for a while. <laughs> I think it's under the tower now. <laughs> we, um, we must get it. We have to get it. I, wrote, <laughs> I think I wrote it's gone. Something. Okay. Yeah, right <laughs> off. Think, off there, yeah. I mean, I tried to keep it. She drew a shirt, and then I look at you, and ex I explain, like, I explained to S S Saria. Uh, she drew on me the first day we met. He drew on me the first day we met. We've been friends ever since, and then disappeared, <laughs> much like many people in my life. Listen, uh, <laughs> where did you guys come from? Because <laughs> we ran down. I don't know. We don't know if that's collapsed. Um, uh, Murder Monk, what, what do you think uh, about this? Um, <laughs> Situation. Well, should we go check? Should we go check out to see how bad the uh, the collapse is in front? Yeah, I mean, I always like to go Do back it. to the evil, uh, horrible camp that we've been stuck in for a year to see if everything's okay. So let's go back that way then. Yeah, let's... I think we should. It's crammed in here, and I don't want to go further in the mines as a centaur. I have yeah. no room. Yeah, you're definitely <laughs> claustrophobic. Like, ah. uh, it takes a lot of effort to squeeze past uh, the trouncer. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll head over. Let's just be careful. He's been shitting. He's been shitting himself. He's been freaked out. Let's just, uh, yeah, it's bad. Don't don't say anything. <laughs> He's really be upset. 
be embarrassing for us all. <laughs> no judgment here. Yeah, no. I do mean, what we need to do. Yeah, right. I, 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 that's what I always say. Okay, so we're uh, we scoot around this poor centaur who's not going to be able to turn around in this tunnel. I'm assuming. I can only walk backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you can kind of like uh, maneuver and get people past and stuff like that, but it's very tight. It's not going to be I'm really sorry about this, man. Yes. Well, once we get out of here, we can uh, all catch up and have our pleasantries, but let's try to move these these boulders out of the cave entrance. Yeah. That's the nicest murdering centaur I've ever met. <laughs> He's really nice, actually, when you get to know him. Yes, I I don't want I didn't want to be the champion of the arena, but this is the job I was, I was given. born in it. I was born in it. I understand. Sometimes the kill in life chooses you. <laughs> yeah. You. All right. So what what about up this tunnel? Uh, we had, I guess we scoot up there and help okay. this poor bastard go backwards. So <laughs> you, you you begin. Uh, let me get kind of a line for So it's not very wide. Who wants to be up front? I'll be up front since okay. I got to look at everything. All right. Zogchen's going to be up front. Anyone else? Uh, who's going to be behind Zogchen and who's going to be in the rear? Um, I'll be up front. I'll all be right, behind okay. Zogchen. I got more. I got, I got the, the short folk up front like that. Everybody can see over you. And then. I'll be, uh, down. I'll, I'll be in the rear. I'll be in the rear. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Well, uh, I was going to say yeah, I was going to help. Like, this... kind of. She's kind of shy. She's trying to figure out the dynamic here. She doesn't trust people easily. So. Yeah, I'll be second to, to the rear. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll help. I'll help the centaur moonwalk. Yeah, I'll yeah, you're backwards. holding my back, and I'm. Yeah, I was like, just you know, I'm guiding you. Let's go, buddy. We got this. I'm I need some mirrors. To, just trying to help. <laughs> Signal. Okay. Um, so you begin. Uh, damn it! I'm trying. I was trying to find your your character's name on here, Michael, and you got. You got freaking uh, punctuation in the front of your name. So oh yeah, sorry. You're making my life hard. Uh, All right, you can take this off. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, trouncer. The trouncer, yeah. Uh, so okay, cool. So um, you guys begin moving up through these uh, through these caves. Uh, Zogchen's at the at the very front. Um, you're uh, Zogchen making um. This would be a history check with double proficiency because you're. Uh, your dwarven ancestry and such, or just kind of your culture. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what, what's your role? Uh, you don't plus five, d20 plus five. God, dude. <laughs> That'll be a seven altogether. Okay. So you're kind of going through the, the caves, and you are not entirely sure of how stable the caverns are going to be at, at, the, at, uh, at this part. Maybe further down, down they might be more stable, but up here it's okay. definitely going to be an issue. All right, you're, okay. you're, you're thinking it might be an issue. You're not sure, though, entirely. Um, okay. You continue on, and um, it starts kind of tightening up a little bit, and you come upon where you had come in the first time. Um, and you can see that it is collapsed to a point. Um, there, are, there are rocks you might be able to move, move away. OK. Um, can, I, can I try to investigate whether I can move them without it all collapsing on top of me? Yeah, sure. Once again, do a um, D20 with plus five. All right, that'll be 15 altogether. 15, okay. So, yeah, you start, you, you're like looking at it, and you're like, I, I think it'll be stable enough for me to move a few of these. So you start moving them, you start going through. Um, perhaps, uh, are that yours? Yeah, it's my dog. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's dog chin. All right. That's dog uh, chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we're in, we're in the eighth season. We got to add some flavor to the show. Um, of course, uh, I'd probably help him. Okay, so know, Norvar like and, and Dachshund start, start kind of uh, pulling it, pulling it aside. Um, you start widening up the cave a little bit. Um, you come to a part where you can actually see a large chunk, of, one, a rock now that is extraordinarily large directly in front of you. Um, this one is certainly a lot larger than the ones you guys were kind of moving. Um, okay. It would take, you could probably... Uh, you would, it would take a fair amount of strength to try to get this out of the way. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Might is be able this to a help large, with that. Is so there a we, large we, enough room for the centaur to turn around? Yeah, he could, he could, the, the, the cave starts to widen up at the, at the mouth of it. <laughs> okay, good. So you guys yeah. can kind of get him in there? Oh, no, okay. Nice. Okay, yeah. 
let's, let's do um, some teamwork. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and I have, have some rope too. I have some rope. Okay. okay. So, uh, let me have. Uh, you got this now. What's up? I said the gnome. You got this, Morburn. Gonna... <laughs> well, what I was thinking. So, what are my as far as my strengths to be able to like communicate to like small creatures? Like, could I somehow like summon like something that lives in the cavern, you, like little you, ants you or could, uh, something? Yeah, you giant could, earthworm. Yeah, you. Yeah, a giant you, earthworm. So Please, something sorry. like that would have an extraordinarily limited intelligence to communicate to you. Okay. Um, and then also, it's also, um, it isn't that you can summon them, it's more of that you can just talk to them if they're there. Oh, okay. So if okay. I were like, hey man, can you help me? It would be like so dumb that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, they, they would, the one might, like, they would have, you would have to have trouble like coordinating them or something like that. It'd be, it'd be kind of an awkward conversation. And they, okay, they, they fair tend enough. to talk more in terms of like what their interests and needs are. Right. Um, okay. So I see. They're, yeah. They're not. Yeah, it's not like they're fully awoken to like the world around them. Like I can't do like a Jedi mind trick. No, you can't. Like you couldn't get them to appreciate poetry or something like that. I haven't talked to a lot of worms, but they're terrible people. <laughs> there they are. They're yeah. delicious to eat. Especially, especially if you have a split personality. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Copy that. Oh, we're still that was fucked bad. in this cave. Okay, so. So, um, <laughs> uh, so Michael, you uh, so the trouser goes up. And you you get your you you, you put your uh, two basically backbones into it um, and your two rib cages into it, and um, you uh, you start pushing on it. Um, go ahead and make a uh, strength check with okay. uh, and if if Norovar and Zogshin are helping you out, make it with advantage. Okay, I'm helping. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm surrounded by murderers. I'm being pretty nice to everybody. Let's just, you know. <laughs> okay. First one is 12, and the second one is, oh, there we go, 22. 22, very nice. You managed to, like, you guys initially start pushing it, and you feel the boulder start, like, kind of, like, shaking a little bit. And then you get up and over a single edge, and it kind of, like, pulls off enough. Um, it looks, it is, it is a very narrow thing. It looks like... Um, Norvar, Zogchen, and Soraya could maybe squeeze through. It'd be kind of a tricky thing. Morbarn, you're pretty sure you could get through. Yeah, I'm already out. <laughs> okay. So, so as, oh. as so as the centaur as the centaur pushes across, you feel a light breeze run across the bottom half of your bo the bottom of your body as you see this gnome go rushing out between your legs out through the the one opening. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so like him. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fucking Slaying. no, man. <laughs> hey, man, you don't know me. <laughs> there, what's your friend? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> um, don't presume to know. Him. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm really just stealing. Okay, her. That's... I'm, ste I'm stealing her pun. Like that was the worst <laughs> of her puns. We okay, were, so we were known the whole time. All right, dude. Um, so go on, sorry. So you, you go outside yeah. more barn, um, and the light hits your eyes for the first time in uh, what actually might might be like a week or so. You, you kind of yeah. get seen on the crowd, um, and you can see that like well over half of the campus is devastated. Um, it looks like you can see the tower. You can see the large saucer on the top of it. It looks like best way to describe it, uh, Kaylee, is like a. It looks like a. a a rotating restaurant, <laughs> like um, space and, needle. Space needle, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, but uh, but made out of like this organic iron, and you you can see the the shaft of it. The the, the shaft is still on the ground. It's still standing, um, but the top of it is uh, toppled over and has landed uh, from. Considering the pit's two hundred feet deep, and this thing stands above the pit, it dropped about four hundred feet. Do we know the purpose of the tower? Um, it's where it's where the lich that uh, operates this area lives. Okay. And it seems to kind of be a um, kind of a kind of a focal point. Uh, you're, you're you're not really sure what the function of it is. It seems uh, important. It does seem important, and you guys do. From what you've understood, the the, the lich and his uh, wizard of the tenants live up there, or operate up there, and. Down in the pit, they don't really have a lot of facilities. It definitely looks like they have access to like a lot of magical capacities and everything like that too. But um, with regards to that thing, that that's your guessing where like their stuff is. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's gone, gone, right? It's still, it's still there. It's still largely intact. It's just that like it is toppled over and smashed a good portion of the camp. And we have no clue how or why. Uh, there was a, the, the trouncer saw something that was kind of. Uh, I, I saw two when I jumped out. It was like a shimmer. Yeah, you saw a shimmer in the shaft. That sounds really bad, fuck, okay. Uh, you, saw a sh you saw a shimmer in the shaft That's where you saw it like it. slowly kind of like digging through it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, you were kind of looking up in the air and you saw a shimmer in the air out in the distance, but you're not sure what it was. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you can convey this to Soraya in, in Morbarn if you want to, but Morbarn has taken off. Yeah, Morbarn, see if you can find any equipment to help us remove all the rocks. So Morbarn- I'm on it. Get out there. <laughs> And you kind of have to, you have to kind of like scramble. He's not coming some, back. Some He's ruins or some, <laughs> some debris and some broken rocks and such. And you kind of get up and survey the area. And like I said, it is devastated. Uh, you do see corpses around. You do see uh, limbs occasionally. It is pretty brutal and grotesque. Yeah. Um, but you, as far as like, you're looking to make a perception check actually. So uh, let's roll a d20 and add your, um, and I'm going to give you disadvantage on this. So roll, roll it twice, roll it twice and take the lowest one. Okay. I am on it. Thanks for your patience while I navigate this website. No problem. Okay, so I'm just rolling the die in the bottom. Yeah, it says, it says perception on your sheet and it says um, there's a little plus yeah. one. Click that plus one. Copy that. And then am I rolling it again? Yeah, you roll it twice and, pick, and tell me the lowest, which one of the two is the lowest. Copy. Okay, 18. That's pretty good. So you got 18, and that was her lowest. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you you go out and you you, you your eyes are just kind of quickly. You look around, and you can see that there are a few people walking around in the distance. Um, it's kind of hard to make them out though because it is it is kind of dusky and such like that. Um, but it looks like they're uh, they're trying to get a, a bearings on what exactly is going on. Perhaps like they're not entirely sure. Uh, what is occurring, if you will? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So you stand there, kind of um, uh, looking at them. Do you want to call back to your buddies? Do you want to press on? What do you want to do? Um, so right now, I'm just kind of navigating. I'm I'm trying to see if I can talk to someone that I recognize from my earlier time uh, working in the, in the pit. The, this specific area is, is, has seen the most devastation. So there's not a lot of folks around here. Um, you All do right. see some people kind of like looking to inspect stuff, but it's definitely yeah. a, it's a thick, you do see a pair of, a pair of people on the distance um, through the dust, but like you can't make out like yeah. who they are. So I'm, I basically just loot as many of the dead bodies as I okay. can. So, and then I go back, I go back to the cave and right, just... So you guys are sitting there and Morbarn's not like talking to you guys. Like you guys are kind of like, you know, what you see on the other side? And nothing comes back. <coughs> oh, what do you guys want to do? The gnome left. I, he does this <laughs> all the time. He did this a year ago. <laughs> the worst gnome ever. Okay. <laughs> Peace out. Okay, so um, a couple of us can get out. Like some, we got to move this boulder. Uh, yeah, yeah trouncer, a lot. There, there's not no way the trouncer could get out through this this gap. The rest of you could take a shot at trying to get out. I'll give it a shot. I, I'll tell him I was like, I'm not going anywhere. Let's try and get you out. I'm gonna try and find something like uh, to fulcrum this. Well, maybe. you you could you could either try to squeeze out or you could try to pull it back further. Oh, pull it in. No, you pull it. You not pull it back. Sorry, pull it, push it over further if you want to. Oh yeah, let's push this. Let's try that. Thing. Okay, Can we I got. Help? Can I help push? Yeah, let's. Yeah, sure. Let's all get it. Um, everybody, can, everybody can push. Um, so and, we'll have, and I come, I'll come running and start pulling. Okay, so more barn. Actually, you're looting. I'm very loyal. You are looting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a little hunting at the you're, moment. You're looting. You're busy, okay. you ghoul. You're looting the the corpses of this. <laughs> yeah. Do we see her looting? Can we, can no. we glance out? No. Okay. No, okay. no. Like we just know the gnome took off. Yeah. We've just been gnomed right yeah. now. It's very, it's very <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really enjoying the idea of this gnome looting the bodies of those of a forced labor camp who have just experienced a rather giant catastrophe. I mean, that's impressive. Hey, 
I mean, who knows what they were like hoarding up their asses. <laughs> Extra food, oh. you know, some hay. Extra food. <laughs> I don't ever want to talk to you about how you loot bodies ever again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you to it in the future. Yeah, that's Thank a good you. check. Um, all right, so, uh, okay, so uh, let me have uh, Norovar, you're leading the effort here. Uh, make a, uh, just a raw strength check with advantage. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Very nice. Um, you start edging it out. Uh, you believe that uh, if you guys can still squeeze through it, but the squeeze is a little bit easier this time. Um, you don't think the transfer could quite make it yet, but you're you're getting pretty damn close. Um, you would have essentially what this would mean is you. Uh, I was gonna have you guys make acrobatics checks to try to squeeze through. You would now have advantage on those acrobatics checks. Right. If there's any chance to get the centaur out, I I definitely am gonna be very. I'm going to try and go until I can get the centaur out. Um, appreciate I, that. I appreciate more more, that. No. More more trying to be a good start, person. So you start looting some bodies, and it's mostly, they're mostly just like people in the labor camp, not really like, um, uh, make a, give me a, give me a uh, investigation check real quick. Um, I think even plus, it's just your, it's on your skill sheet there. Just, just one check. It's fine. And see what's up their um, ass. 14. <laughs> Maybe a key. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So 14. Yep. Yeah. Um, you start digging through, and most of the bodies yeah. you look. You, God damn it, Jerry! Um, most of the bodies you start. <laughs> most of the bodies. You, you said start, it. <laughs> okay, most of the bodies you start digging through are mostly uh, laborers. Um, they don't have much on them. Um, I mean, you're finding like their basic clothes and stuff like that. Uh, you maybe find like um, a trinket here or there, like maybe like a kind of cool stone they they're holding on to, but nothing of value. Um, but as you as you keep on going, you hear someone say. You hear a, you hear it in a distinct voice, um, in spoken in uh, a tongue you, you you were familiar with, uh, you had heard around the place. Um, you hear someone say, "Halt there." Ruff, ruff. So, I immediately drop the the limb. Okay. The solo limb. Or butt up. And I I turn slowly around. Okay. You, you you see a pair of you can see the outline of a pair of these um bull guards standing before you. Uh with um uh their uh morning stars and um shield at ready. Like Yeah. And then I, I'm like, uh, hey guys, um, hey, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of workers caught in the cave right behind. Me. Man, way to rat them out. Uh, okay, so we've been gnomed. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. In all seriousness, <laughs> I'm. Hey, I'm really glad that I found you all. Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, I just was one minute I was in the arena watching the big fight, and then the next minute there's just dust everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna have more barn make a deception check. <laughs> You're a poet. Five. Okay. Hey, I'm getting used to this. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know oh, these yeah. assholes. You're doing great. All great. Very, yeah. But like, new do, you, do you see the smile on everyone's faces? That means you're doing good. good. Yeah. You're yeah. doing it's awesome. When, it's when people start doing this shit. You're like, oh, my yeah. God. Like, yeah. That's usually I've been, like, uh, oh, Jesus. You know, I've on. been known to shimmer a few shafts. Oh. <laughs> With my poetry. God. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe that's why I need to do a post after this. I need to open I need to open like a role like a fantasy role playing themed male strip club called the Shimmer Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, more I know we're not witnessing this, but more barn probably should negotiate for us. Okay. <laughs> they, um, uh, they approach you they, more barn, they begin to approach you um and with uh and uh, one of them pulls his belt and throws out in front of you a set of manacles. Uh oh. And says, so put them on. 
Okay. Now, can we can we hear any of this, or is this pretty uh, far away? Then we have. Uh, let me see who could hear this. Are we all still back in the? Cabin? Yeah, you guys are still under there. Yeah, as you guys are moving the boulder away, I'm gonna I'm coming back. I'm bouncing back. Man. But they haven't noticed the boulder moving. No. Okay. Um, so Soraya, you you start hearing like speech outside actually. Okay. Um, you hear you can hear your friend Morbarn speaking to someone. You're not sure who's speaking, but you can hear them talking to somebody. So what do you want to do? The boulder is open I enough. You can probably what they're saying though. Uh, you want to try to make out what the what the other people are saying? Yeah, can I like press my ear to the the rock or something? It's, it's an open it's an open kind of like like narrow passage, so you can you can, can, I, can hear. Can I get it. out? Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, there's a way okay, to get out. You want to try to get I out? I get out and try to like sneak. Okay. Um, make make an acrobatics check. So on your sheet, uh, just put, yeah, that little plus three there for acrobatics. Uh, I got such a team. Ten. Everybody's just leaving. Got ten. Time to get everybody out. Okay. So first, the gnome leaves. Now the half elf. Hey, you got still one half elf. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. We could have had a full. We could have had. Yeah, we had. We had. We had a whole human and a whole elf. Now we got a half. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um. So That's you. Uh, so you. 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 You go to start squeezing through, and you. You. You kind of misjudge a little bit. You're not stuck, but it's. It's going to take a little more wiggle. Um. And you guys. The rest of you guys are kind of. Uh, Can you just push doing, a little bit? Just fuck. Okay. Uh. So you guys see that Soraya has gotten impatient and is trying to get out. Um, you guys, uh, more more barn is out there talking. So they throw the manacles to you, more barn. Yeah. Um, what do you uh, What do you do? Well, I put them on, but I don't lock them. Okay. So, so you pick them I, up and you you put them on. Yeah. You... So I I I I make them think that that I'm attached okay. or that I'm uh, locked up, but I'm not. Make a sleight of hand check. You're actually decent at. You're actually halfway decent at. Nice. One. Oh. Well, you have a plus three, but it's a four, right? Yeah, four. Okay. So it's probably still not the best. Still not the best. Yeah. Just, just to be clear, too. By, by the way, everyone, <laughs> yeah. A, a one is not an automatic failure on anything except for an attack roll in, in yeah. position. That, just be clear. I um, mean, a twenty is not an automatic success on anything except for an attack roll. Just be clear. But um, yeah, you suck at it. So you, thank um, you. <laughs> So you you go and start like clinking them on, yeah. And you're trying to fake it, and then you actually did it. Nice. Oh, <laughs> no. You overestimated it. Uh, Sar sorry, uh, as you kind of you hear like a, a distinct click, uh, a very familiar click of manacles, um, and you suspect your friend is in trouble. So, and um, I'm still stuck. Uh, no, you're not stuck, but you're you're halfway out. You mean you didn't oh, okay. all the way through. Yeah, you're, you're, you're having to wiggle a little more. So let me go ahead and um, I'm going to have everybody uh, roll initiative. I'm still in the cave. <laughs> disadvantage on initiative? <laughs> I have a disadvantage on initiative, Chen. <laughs> Some of us take a moment to get going. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Don't you have like a, a minus, minus one on your initiative? One? Yeah. I didn't right. get my I didn't get my elven dexterity from whichever <laughs> parent. Uh, let, me, let me go through and get everyone's initiative. Uh, Zogshan, what'd you get? I got a mighty eight. Mighty eight. More bar, what'd you get? Mighty eight. Norvar. Oh, nice. Three. <laughs> no one uh, wants to be in this battle. <laughs> Sorry. Saria. Got Saria. An eight. Eight? <laughs> Jeez. All right. Trouncer. Fifteen. All right, thank you for not disappointing me. Um, <laughs> I think is mean the, the guy who's stuck in the cave dice? is ready to go. <laughs> Put my trident through. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can uh, whoop this uh, boulder's ass, uh, Wesley Willis. So, <laughs> let's... Uh, so if you guys are interested, real quick, if you want to follow along with the initiative count, there is my link I put in the chat, and you can follow along with the initiative count. Cool. Uh, uh, so top of the top of the initiative, Trouncer. So you're standing there. You you and Norobar push this boulder. Soraya's trying to squeeze through. More you don't know the hell's going on more barn, but apparently something's going down. Uh, and Zogchen, the three of you are trying to move the boulder. Um, 
what do you want to do? You think you, you might be able to get it far enough for Soraya to get out easily, a lot easier. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put all my hooves into the make moving a, that boulder. Make a strength check with advantage. Okay. First one. Actually, let me rephrase that. Um, Zogchen or Norabar, are either one of you willing to sacrifice your action this turn to help the trouncer? Yes. Okay, all right, so you get advantage of yes. Okay. All right, I got an 11. That's my high one. I know. <laughs> Sorry. So you, you, you start you start pushing on it, and you I, oh, you, you can't quite get it. Uh, Soraya's still there. She's not getting squeezed. In, you know, she's not getting squeezed any tighter, but it's like it's still can't get my hoof up correctly to get the grip. All right. Um, Could be a lot of us like just, just move it over to the side <laughs> for some, fuck's sake. No, just like hit it here. Like get yeah, underneath yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Somebody uh, do something. It's hard to control everybody all four eight. limbs. Uh, yeah, everybody got eight. Six. Yeah. Uh, Zogchen, so you're you're there. Um, you're helping them out. Uh, that's pretty much your turn. You can continue to help though, the, the general action, which means no Rivar can help as well. Um, okay. More barn. Yeah. Uh, it's your turn. So uh, what do you uh, want to do? You ha you're now locked up. Um, you're being you're being oppressed, and. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. You do know that you have in your belt, like hidden in your in your like your, your pants or your belt line, whatever. You do have a pair of daggers with you, though. Fair enough. So you might so, be able to. Like... Yeah, I mean, I can tell. So the visibility is awful. You know, it's rough. I mean, you can see these guys decent enough, but you can't. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, like you couldn't act, like you couldn't make like if someone asked you to like describe their faces in detail, you wouldn't be able to. But they can't really see me super well. Yeah, they, they don't have the best the best shot on you, so you might be able to pull off some sort of trickery of the light or something if you want to. Yeah. So I these these are too tight. They're a little too <laughs> tight. So could and I, I encourage one of them to come and try to help me, you know. And they grab my arm and they're like, Let me look at this. Okay. okay. And at the moment I have one of my daggers in my hand okay. that so I that's... pulled. So let's, the, we're, what we're going to do in this, I'm going to have you make a sleight of hand check to try to pull your daggers with disadvantage because your hands are bound. So, and so I rolled, and then how do I know what to dis? I'm so you, sorry. Uh, so you roll sleight of hand twice. The, okay. The little plus three. You do that twice. And then take and then, the lowest yeah, one. Yeah, the lowest one. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. A four. So you, you I, I, like, my first roll was an 18. You, but I want to just say this. <laughs> I know you said that I have a weapon on me, yes. but I've I've looted all those bodies and I have so many shivs. Like so, so many to, shivs. No, so, so you go and you, you try to like subtly pull it out. You kind of like you kind of like fumble it a little bit and you have it <laughs> and they see you and they're like they go to pull their weapons like they're now going to attack you because you have a weapon. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um so that, uh, do you want to try to run back to the cave or do you want to try to get out of there? What do you want to do? Well, I'm going to charge on that. I'm going to, well, I'm, the half elf sees the struggle. No, the half elf does not see the struggle. They hear the struggle though. They do hear the struggle. Okay. Um, this is really entertaining guys. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> so, <laughs> By the way, so the I fumble. What's that? Yeah. So, yeah, they, they do. Sar, Sar, Saria. Yeah. Saria. Saria. Yeah. I keep on forgetting to say that. I'm so sorry. Call when, you that weed, when that weed's kicking in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just like couldn't say the name. No, actually, it's Saria. Saria? Okay. Yeah. It's Saria? Okay, I'm sorry. Saria. Saria. The pronunciation in Elvish is Saria, okay? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, so I struggle. They see my struggle. They pull their their weapon. Yeah, it looks like they have the intent now to actually like beat you with their maces. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> Is there a way? Okay. Can I? Can the the those that the other pe the other people that aren't part of our crew, mm -hmm. like that are wandering around, can they also see that? Uh, and they're they're pretty on the distance, and, and if they are okay. wandering, they're usually pretty injured, and they're, okay. not, like, they're okay. not near you at all. Like these guys are actually closer to you. But my my question is basically yeah. at this point in the game, you have a move action, so you can either try to move 
away from them, closer to them, or just try to bolt away? I'm moving closer. Okay, so you go, all right, so you move up closer. All right, sounds good. All right, let's go to, um, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot, guys. Um, all right, uh, Saria, uh, you want to try to squeeze out? Uh, yeah. Make an acrobatics check. That is a 23. There it is. You there squeeze go. out, you come out, you're standing, um, you, you kind of get out and you stand up top, you see more barns uh, there with, with their hands shackled, with a dagger in their hand, shackled, charging these two guards. Um, you have on your persons, you do have a mace and you have a dagger. Uh, what do you okay. want to do? Uh, I can see your face being that, your character's face being that same, like, what's <laughs> yeah. No. I have this, I have this. Attacking these two guards. So yeah, you're in a situation where I, I played this dwarf years back that dual wielded pickaxes, but the best way to describe his attitude was like he was in the constant state of have a, of about to have an aneurysm. <laughs> he was just like, God, don't! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you have you you, on your, you come up, you squeeze through, you look up, you see your friend. Um, do you want to draw your weapon? Do you want to say something? Um, do you want to try? Uh, even um, I I kind of like yell back at my friends in the the cavern. And I'm okay. like, guys, you're not looking good. Get out as fast as you can. Okay, so you say that. Uh, you see the action. Get out. <laughs> We're trying. Uh, did you just say get out as fast as we can? What the fuck's going on up there? So, <laughs> like, I, I have no time to explain. I just I just uh, take out my dagger. Can I throw it? Yes, you can. Now, I will say this by throwing your dagger, which is really cool. You do have that spell in, sta in Staring Strike. You could try to, like, uh, bind one of them up with, like, vines with the if the dagger does hit them. Okay. That um, is an option. Yeah, let, let me try that. I'm going to throw it at okay. the closest guard. Okay. So um, you you say some words to uh, the winds of the directions, and you go and throw your dagger, hoping it's true. Uh, make an attack roll with your dagger. I think you have a plus, so you just click a little plus five by the dagger. Everybody's just leaving, you know. Like, this is, <laughs> it's two. We can't try to help this horse guy out here who nearly killed me. Look, everyone seems to be getting out of dodge. Please. You are He's not a, a nice centaur. guy. No, it isn't. I'm not. <laughs> You're not a nice guy. You need as many friends as you can get. All right. We almost uh, killed each other. You get but... a so on your on your on your uh... yeah, sorry guys. Oh, that's okay. It's what did you roll? I'm trying to under oh, your... so I hit the plus five? Yeah, just click the plus five and I'll roll it. That is an eighteen. Eighteen, very nice. Uh, you throw your dagger; it goes strike. It strikes true right in the right past his shield and hits him right in the uh, upper breastplate. Um, roll uh, next to that. Next to the the thing is the D four plus three. You roll that too and tell me what you get. Next to the uh, the dagger attack you just did. Four. You got four. Okay, cool. So, um, you get this real quick here. Deal some damage to this guy. Okay. Um, and uh, you also, I think it's starting to strike. I mean, he also takes it. Uh, so he has to make a saving throw against your DC save. So I'm gonna have him do that real quick. Um, I think it's a, was that a strength save? 15, okay. Um, your shot does hit out and you see the vines start to come over him. Um, however, though, he does, um, uh, he manages to like pull the dagger off and doesn't let the vines grow on him. Okay. So he kind of managed to navigate your spell. So um, I'll have your spell cast for you there. And that too. So there, there's your turn though. It was a pretty good turn. It was, it was a good shot. It was a very heroic shot. Um, I wish it, you could have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> nice guys, nice. Um, What's going on out there? So um, <laughs> these, uh, these guards do advance on uh, Morbarn. Um, and then one of them, one of them break, one of them, was, they were both going to advance on Morbarn, but now one of them has broken off and has gone up to um, Saria. They're not going to be able to attack you this turn, Saria, but they have advanced on you. They are next to you. Uh, Morbarn, one of them goes up and takes a swing at you uh, with their uh, Morning Star. And they strike you with their Morning Star. Um, 
Uh, Morbarn, you take uh, eight points of damage. So it's, yeah, you have a little damage thing on your on your on your sheet there. Um, it's it should okay. be like it says like current hit points, max hit points, something like that. And there's a little oh. little little box next to says heal or damage, and you put the number in there. And, okay, like, looking. Top right. Okay, hit points. Okay, so I hit damage. Yeah, you just put put eight in the little box and hit damage. I see. Okay. Cool. Thanks for your help. Oh, of course, you got, it's all. Hey, okay. we're, all, we're all learning. Um, all right. So uh, you uh, you guys hear uh, more and more ah, screen out. Um, the other one advances on on, on uh, Saria, but does nothing. Uh, next up in the account is Norabar. You want to try to you want to try to get this rock out of the way once and for all? Yeah, I'm just sitting there like a strike check, buddy. With everybody a leaving all the time. Like <laughs> this is like not screaming. What the fuck? They, they watched the band they wanted to see. Now they're leaving. <laughs> yeah, right. That's exactly what's happening. Been there. Twenty-one. And nice. not weak. You managed to push the boulder over enough that the trouncer could squeeze through now, and you and Zogchen could easily get through without problem. Perfect. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Figure out what you want to? You want to leave the? So you, you want to leave the cavern? So you you walk up the cavern, and you get up there. And you see um, uh, uh, Saria there with one of these guards getting ready to start like uh, bashing her. All right, uh, back around. All right, uh, Trouncer. All right. Um, is it? An, do I see it? I mean, when when that boulders move, can oh, I yeah. see what's going on? Okay. You can hear. You can hear. You can hear uh, commotion fighting going on, and you heard more barn scream. Okay, I'm gonna charge right at the first guard. I can okay. see that. Uh, make an acrobatics check to see if you can squeeze through okay. uh, the boulders uh, crevice. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, yeah, you you manage to get through barely. Um, you have to kind of like uh, you you do get out of the cave, but you're not within uh, melee range. Okay. Uh, uh, you could certainly move up to melee range's turn, or if you want to throw like your trident or a javelin at the guy. I'm gonna th yeah, I'll throw the javelin there. at Maybe the guard close. The javelin. Okay. I'm in the front of you. <laughs> yeah, duck. <laughs> like, Eighteen. Through, I'm like shit. Eighteen to hit. Uh, that does hit him. Uh, uh, give me a damage roll for that. Okay. Oh yeah. Eighteen. Eight. Sorry. Oh, like, Jesus. Okay. I know. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, man. There's so many eights today. It's really weird. Eight. Um, <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, man. It's weird. So, uh, all right. So yeah, you go up and you 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 pull a javelin. You throw a javelin. Uh, sorry, as you're standing there and this guy's charging, you see you suddenly see a javelin sticking out of his uh, out of his uh, upper shoulder. Uh, and you can uh, hear you hear the battle cry of the trouncer behind you. And I'm gonna rage as my bonus action for the next. You want to rage before you do it? You do you do extra damage with that throw? Yeah. I would oh, okay. Yeah. Rage. Yeah. Yeah. I should rage. Yeah. I'll give you the damage work on cool. You get plus uh, two on your damage. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you, you guys hurt this guy pretty bad actually. Um next up out. uh Zogchen, the way is clear. <laughs> oh, I'm running. Okay, you, you run out, you come up, you see one of these guards attacking uh Saria, you see a javelin sticking out of them from the trouncer, and you see Morbarn in shackles with a holding a dagger and shackles trying to fight this guy. Um all right. Well, we'll help out. Which one's closer to me? Uh, it would be the one that's uh, sorry is fighting. More barns way out there. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Nah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna flying sidekick in. Obviously All not, right. but uh, in my mind, that's what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so you see this? You see this little stubby leg? Uh, <laughs> uh, you see uh, this this guy here? Uh, that's right, babe. Running towards, and he. Uh, He's got the thick net. He actually, he actually actually walk out of the cave sideways, um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, you you come running out and you go into this like everyone's like holy shit this guy can actually jump and like he jumps and he goes and kicks this press kick this guard uh, make your uh, unarmed attack roll. Fuck me. Um. Be thirteen. Thirteen. All together. Uh he, he blocks your shot with the shield. Uh do you want to follow yeah. up 
or and do are you gonna do four year blows or are you gonna just do a regular attack, extra attack? I don't I I'm I don't have key yet. Yeah, you do. You're I do level. at second level? I thought I got about third level. Yeah, you have a second level right now. You have two key points. Oh shit. Level. Well hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, my bad. So you, you burn a key point? Yeah. And um Oh there it is. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, it feels good, huh? And so yeah, uh, yeah you get it you so you go up and do this flying kick and you he blocks with his shield. And then you go and start trying to like like land some hammer. You know, you take your hammers and you start fighting them. Okay, and then you got one more. You got one more. Let's fucking hit it. Oh, natural twenty. Okay, natural twenty. Okay, so you go and strike them. Um, I got I got a graph real quick, guys. Real quick, come on. And he left. I mean, while I'm standing there by the front of the cave, going like, "Cave, man." I feel like I'm in the front of the cave going like, oh, shit, there's my head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the dwarf. Duck. Everyone's running by me, and I'm just like, fuck. Yeah, All right, I forgot, to, I forgot to grab my critical hit cards. Um, oh, nice. I, I, I use critical hit cards as double damage, because double damage is boring as all hell. Oh, um, nice. OK. Oh, yeah. awesome. So OK, uh, you deal maximum damage with the attack, OK? Which for you is what is that like a, a seven damage? Okay, it'd be seven, yeah. So you deal uh, seven damage to him. In addition, he has to make a Constitution saving throw, which I'm gonna have him make real quick. He's so dead. And he fails. Give him the two max. And so on a failure, he is pushed back five feet. So you push him back off of uh, Saria as you as you you strike at him repeatedly, and all it was is a set up this one big blow, and then you kind of like give him a quick push in the stomach, and he goes. Ugh! He falls off, um, and the like. Okay, cool. I, I softened that for him. <laughs> <laughs> we all. I feel like was good. Yeah, there, yeah, you guys. This this relationship began with a pissing contest, and we'll yeah. Fun. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so next up is uh, uh, more barn. So more barn. This guy's coach. He's, he started trying to hit you. He's actually hit you with his with his morning mm -hmm. star. You're holding um, shackled with a dagger in your hand. Uh, what do you want to do? And you can see your friends coming up trying to gang on this one um, guard behind you. I'm going to just, instead of, I'm going to just try to bolt. Like, I'm going to try to be, right. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to leave the, you, the, you run off and you run off for your friends. Uh, on the way out, he takes a swing at you. Yeah. Um, and, uh, let's see, he hits you. He does not hit you. So on, on the way, so you kind of like tuck out and you, you hear like the morning star swift behind your head as you run out behind your friends. Um, with with your dagger in hand, uh, mm -hmm. and you just and you're hoping they might want to protect you a little bit. So you, you did get kind of beat up. Um, yeah. If you do want to, um, as a fighter, you have an option called uh, second wind, where you can try to get some hit points back if you want to, um, as a bonus action. Um. It's free healing, so. It's what? It's just free healing. Basically, fighters can once per combat kind of like get hit points back for. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to go ahead and. Uh, go ahead and um, there's a little box on there in your action called un under a thing called Second Wind. Um, and then just roll a, a one of the D10s on the left side of the sheet. Or I can do it for you if you want me to. Uh, yeah, do you mind? I'm just yeah, not sure. seeing Oh, wait, I see it. Yeah. So you just roll a D10 and then um, add two to that, and that's how many hit points you get back. Okay. Tell me again. I'm so sorry, guys. How you do I the, you roll get a, a D10? Uh, yeah, and then add two to it, and that's how many hit points you're going to get back. Okay, go ahead and just do it for me this time. Sure. Uh, you got 10 back, so you're actually, you should be okay. heal. So nice. Just, just uh, where you have the damage thing, just put a 10 in there and add heal. Okay, copy. Thank you. Cool. Um, all right, so you guys see uh, you guys see Borbarn running back to you, like panning, and kind of gets behind you guys and takes a breather real quick. Um, it is... Uh, uh, Saria. So Saria, so you've thrown your dagger. It's off in the distance now. Um, you do have a uh, a mace on you as well, if you want to attack the mace. Okay. So since the guard that was attacking me is preoccupied at this moment. You got pushed I, off, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go, and I'm just going to I'm gonna take out my mace, and I'm going to charge straight for the other guard. Okay. And no problem. just swipe right at his knees. Okay. Go for it. Uh, roll uh, your mace attack. Uh, it's only a plus two to hit with that one, but uh, you got a shot to hit with it. Eleven. Eleven. Does not hit. Um, his, he holds his shield up and braces against you. Um, 
All right, let's go to your brave and such. Um, that brigand, the the, uh, the guard that you that you took a swing at. Sorry, uh, he takes a swing at you. Okay. Um, and he gets he barely hits you, um, and he got you for a whopping. Um, um, he got you for eight points of damage. Okay. So he's going to sheet and hit eight and then damage. Um, the other one, uh, I mean, actually follows up with a second swing. Sorry, he's got one more attack. And he misses. Uh, the other one, um, he kind of like, he sees that you guys, he's outnumbered. Um, he takes the dodge action and backs off to his friend. So he's kind of hunkering down, backing off as you guys kind of come at him. Um, that is their turn. Next up is a Norobar. Okay, which ones can I get to either one of those dudes? Yeah, you can get to either one of them. Yeah. All right. I'm going to come in with a flying sock to the fucking face, right? I'm, I'm just going to just come in like bar room style, like jump over there, like punch somebody in the face. <laughs> you, move, you, you move up and uh, uh, you uh, take a swing at the, uh, which one do you want to go after? The, the one that like backed off or the one that uh, is... Uh, is fighting uh, Saria. Um, okay, uh, which one was the one that was chasing Morbarn? Uh, that there's that one. That the one, one that... start that's fighting Saria now. Yeah. All right, I'll just sock him in the face. Yeah, so make, like, yeah. Just make a swing. <laughs> Arm strike. <laughs> What's your class, arm. Dom? I am a paladin. Twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> paladin just coming running out. You got twenty four to hit. Yeah, <laughs> and he, uh, he takes four damage. Four. <laughs> well, yeah, but you, you don't roll damage for that one, man. It's just it's, I don't like you're not you're not a monk. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, ah, good. So, yeah, you go up and you, you stalk him. Um, definitely got his attention. Uh, goes back. Need a weapon. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. <laughs> uh, the trouncer. What do you want to do? Okay. Um. Well, I'm I'm gonna. Trounce on over, and I'm going to use my <laughs> trident on the one that was attacking Morbarn. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you can do a charge action on this guy if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. So, um, charge charge first? Yeah, you move 30 feet straight forward, and then okay. you have to make a melee attack. If it hits, um, you can then make a hoof attack as a bonus action. Gotcha. Since okay, so I'll, I'll do. So, um, yeah. And you're raging, so uh, go ahead and make your uh, swing at him uh, with your trident. Okay. Oh, I rolled a natural one. So it's six total. So you, you go up and you, you go and bring the trident at him. He <laughs> brings it off of the shield, no problem. Um, what do you uh, uh, what do you want to do? I'll do that charge then, right, with the hoofs, the extra hoofs? Uh, the, first hit, the first attack has to hit, but you can, oh, use, gotcha, you, gotcha, you can right. use it as an unarmed attack if you want to, um, as an offhand attack, but it doesn't do extra damage. It only does like, a D4 damage raw. I'll, I'll do that since okay. I saw okay. um, Noravar punch him. Yeah, I'm going to hoof him. Oh my god, I rolled the... Okay, I thought it was another one. A seven, so 12. Okay, seven, 12. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, once again, Ouch. he keeps his shield up and you keep on attacking the same point, but he doesn't get through. Yeah. What, what is right. wrong with you? <laughs> I just <laughs> got out of a cave. <laughs> you had one, one job! <laughs> uh, Zogchen, uh, so you're, you're staying there. Uh, they, the other guards kind of backed off the one you pushed off. Um, that one you, you hit earlier, he's, he's like defensing up. Like he's like, he's a little worried. The other one is still trying, is trying to attack Saria. What do you want to do? Uh, again, because I'm, I'm playing this out as like a Shaw Brothers movie in my head now. I would think that uh, I would push the one guy away, and before he comes after me, I'm going to go for the other guy. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, right, cool. So you go for the All other right. guy. Uh, go in, right. uh, take your swings. Straight, straight. Yeah. Down. So first, uh, unarmed strike. Uh, that doesn't hit. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna spend my other key point and do a, uh, another flurry of blows. You got it. And I get two of those, right? Yeah, you two more attacks, yeah. All right, Can I, I'm just gonna roll them at the same time. That's fine. Cool. Uh, does a 12 hit? No. All right, uh, and the other one was a 19. The 19 does strike. Right. Okay, it's all right. D4 plus three, I believe it is. Yeah. Never find my D4 unless I step on it. 
and that is six. Very nice. So you nice. go up and you give them some business. Yeah, they're 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 pushing off. Um, they definitely are realizing they are outnumbered, and they're a little surprised at the uh, stream of combatants coming out of the caves. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would be too. Uh, Soraya, uh, sorry, 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 excuse me. Sorry, you are you are standing there. Uh, you now have your group, this group with you, uh, fighting these guys, no problem. Um, what do you want to do? Um, so what are, what's the situation with the guards? Like, are, are they backing off? Are they? Uh, right now they seem like they're still kind of in between. One of them looks a little beat up, um, and he's hunkered down a little bit. Uh, the other one though is, uh, still pretty proficient and he's actually been going after you guys. They, they, they know that they have better gear than you and they think they can survive it. The one that is more proficient, I'm going to go up to him and I forgot I had this spell. But I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark. Okay, you cast Hunter's Mark on the guy. Sure, go for it. So you uh, Hunter's Mark the one guy. Uh, take your swings at him. <laughs> like how everybody knew what Hunter's Mark is is all ah yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna try to attack him. That was amazing. Yeah, you got it. I always like to picture Hunter's Mark as kind of a Babe Ruth thing, where you're like. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you up. Uh, you. You. Oh, what would you get to hit with Focused the on you. Um, I got a 12. Okay. Okay. So you, you go up and you, you take a swing at him and like it doesn't connect. He's they're armored up pretty heavily. Um all right, it is uh where was I at here? Uh the brigands. Okay. Um the one that was hunkering down a little bit. He views right now uh, the trouncer as a large threat. He's well aware of who the trouncer is. So he takes his swings at the trouncer. Um, and his first attack got a 15 to hit, and his second attack misses. I think he got you once. Okay. Uh, yeah. He does deal to you a whopping um, six damage. So you take half, so you only take three. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. With rage. Right. Okay. So he does smack you pretty much. The other one um, looks around and he sees, um, he's actually not really liking Zog Chen too much right now. Um, so he's gonna Bring go it. Zog Chen. Uh, first hit, first attack's actually a hit for sure. The other one's a miss. Um, and he gets you for a whopping, um, if I can see the damn roll. He got you for a whopping five damage, Jerry. Five? Yeah, yeah not too bad. Okay. Um, and they're kind of back. They're kind of back to back now, ready to fight, uh, ready to deal, um, and try to last as long as they can. Uh, no Rovar, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, so the, let me just get a scene here. They're they're the two guard. The brigands are both back to back. The two guards. Yeah, the, the guards. Yeah. Okay, so they backed up because I was wondering if they were like tangling. But okay. Uh, well, they're 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 they've moved back to back, and you guys are kind of surrounding them now. Right. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, every everyone's in decent enough shape to keep fighting. Yeah, so we're gonna solid. I have no weapon. So yeah, you got, you got these two hammers, buddy. Let's get stupid. <laughs> Let, uh, I mean, I'd love to be able to grapple someone and pull you could them do that. down. You yeah, why don't I do that? Like, if I can get around and pull them. Okay. Down make an athletics out. or acrobatics check, or make it sorry, make it it's an athletics check for you. I'm sorry, make an athletics check. Athletics. <laughs> uh, so that would be 11. Look, you grapple him, you grab him, you grapple him. He can no longer, he's now restrained. I'm nice. pulling him down on the ground. Like, do we go down? Uh, or you know, you, you haven't had a chance to pull him on the ground yet, but you do have him grappled. You do have him, like, held. Somebody hit him! <laughs> Somebody hit him! I'll say it more manly like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody um, hit him. And, uh, yeah, he's grappled. Okay. okay. So, um, all right. Next up is, uh, where was I at there? It is back around the trouncer. So you see uh, Norovar has grabbed this dude. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, yeah, I might skewer him, but I don't want to skewer both of you guys. So I, I'm you, can, have... you can pick him off. It's okay. fine. Off. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna skewer the uh, the guy restrained. Right, go for it. Make your, make your swing up. 
Eleven. No. Uh, <laughs> I need to get some real dice. I need some real dice. This is hurting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't roll a one on that one. Yeah. Do uh, uh, you want to try to hit him with your hooves? Like, yeah. I'll, I'll, right, yeah. You kind of love when a DM just goes, no. <laughs> All right, 20. I 20 does hit. So it's a, D, uh, it's a D4 plus two damage total. Okay. Uh, four. Four damage. Okay. This guy is not looking like he's in good shape. He's actually going, he's hurting pretty bad. Uh, Nora was holding him. Um, he's definitely probably gonna start trying to stab Norwar pretty badly, but you're you're kicking him in the back in the back of the head, basically. Um, all right, it is uh, Zog Chen. What do you want to do? All right, so uh, it looks like the trouncers pretty much got this guy. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'll go over to the other dude. All right, I'm gonna wail on him. All right, you start just cutting into him. Go for it. Oh yeah. No respect. Oh, right. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's got to be a hit, right? That's 23? Yeah, that hits for sure. All right. Um, I just want to see what happens to him after this before. I, well, I don't have any more key points, do I? No, you don't. To be an oh, okay. armor strike, follow up, so. Uh, and I, I only get one attack. All right. You, you get two attacks each round, yeah, because you have the arm strike, yeah. All right. So that's four. All right. You you strike him, no problem. Uh, you get one more, one more attack on him. That's a natural one. Okay. Yeah, you whiff him the second time. You you put your fist into his shield. You start to get smart to your ta tactics. Yeah. Um, all right. Next up is Morbarn. So Morbarn, you're uh, you ran off in the back. Um, you're standing there, looking uh, at at this fight unfolding a little distance out. What do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna join the. I'm gonna join my brothers okay. getting their asses kicked. Right. Uh, uh, do you want to? Do you want to try to? Do you want to try to stab the one that um, Norabar is like holding, or do you want to try yeah. to stab the one that like that like kind of is still free? Oh, I'm gonna go for the one that's being held down right. for sure. Right. Um, like rapid. I'll, like, I'll give you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, make a make a uh, attack roll with that with your dagger there. <laughs> oh. Psycho um, gnome. <laughs> yeah, with all my shivs. Just gonna say. <laughs> Psycho no. Okay, tell me, uh, guide me one more time. It's that it's under actions, attacks, or whatever it is. And okay. It's a dagger. And just put the plus five. Plus five. Uh, okay, eleven. Eleven doesn't hit him, but you do. Uh, you you do manage to get into the fight with them all. I know. I, I do this a lot. Yeah. Well, you, you can't. I, I, I'm gonna. You're not gonna be able to get your two your two a, your two attacks with your dual wielding because like you're shackled. So. Okay. Good point. Good point. Um, thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you're staying there with your mace. You got your hunter's mark on this guy that uh, Norvar is holding down. What do you want to do? I'm gonna go for him again. I right, go for it. Um, I'll give you advantage on the attack roll. So uh, roll twice with the, some of the highest one. Uh, 22. 22 hits. Uh, so uh, you do the damage that the mace says, and then you do an extra d6. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. So that's a five for the first one. Mm -hmm. And a two. Two. Um, you go up and uh, you got the eye of the tiger, and you go up <laughs> and you smash. You just like as Norvar is holding this guy, trying to like give him to like you know a headlock, whatever it is. You go up and you just smash him right in the lower back, and he like crumples over, oh, oh, like dead. Nice. Press it. Have these rule. Teamwork. Thanks for holding. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Sorry. And then the other one, uh, it's, it's now the other one's turn. Uh, he's standing there. He's getting well by Zog Chen. Um, he's like, oh, he's a really, he's his friend go down. He does a total defense. He, he like, hunkers down hard with his shield and he starts backing off, uh, trying to back off from you guys. Um, every one of you guys can, uh, can take a swing at him as he tries to back off from you. Uh, we'll start with the trouncer. Okay. I'm, I'm going to throw my net on him then. Maybe he'll be useful alive. Uh, Nets no? a range, Nets, Nets a range oh, attack. Oh, range. Okay. Yeah, you can try to Maybe do he'll be better dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll give him the trident. All right. A tried and true trident. Give him the All base. right, 20. 
20 total. Yeah, yeah, you hit him, so give me damage. All right. Don't forget extra plus two. Oh, yeah, okay. Plus two. Six total. Six total. Okay. You strike him. Uh, we'll go to Zogchen. Free swing. Yep, free swing. Yep. Oh, that's uh, 21. All right, you strike him. Give the damage. That would be four. Four. Okay. And uh, Norovar, we'll let you try to take a punch if you want to. Uh, punch or a kick? Like, you know, I, yeah, I guess punch. Yeah, thing. just hit him. It's the same. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a kick. I'm okay. gonna kick, right, kick him. Head. Ah. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay, you miss him. Yeah, you guys kind of kick air. Um, uh, more <laughs> barn. You can take, you can take a swing at him on the way out too. Okay. Just take, just dagger uh, attack. Just, just, Straight Heard that. Heard that. 11. 11. 16. 16. Okay. Nice. You do strike him. Uh, roll the damage, which is a d4 plus 3. So. Should be next to the weapon attack, yeah. <laughs> I'm s- no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, tell me again, weapon, what? Um, if you look at the weapon area, it says actions is dagger, and it says like hit. Yeah. And there's things that next to it says damage. Yeah. Just click the damage. Where it says D four plus three. Six. Six. All right, you stab him. Um, he's not looking too good. Uh, and the lastly, we have uh, Saria. I'll take uh, a swing at him. What's that? I'll take a swing at yeah, him. Take roll your roll your mace. They kill both of them. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14 misses him barely. Oh, yeah. He, he barely, barely misses him. He's backing off. So he backs off from you guys. Um, that said, he doesn't get very far. No Rivar, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, would I be able to pull the shield and mace off of uh, this guy and attack? That would, be your, it would be your whole turn to do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to pick up the shield and mace and Sounds just good. go and just say groovy. <laughs> nice. Uh, feel free to add those. To your, exactly. Feel free to add those to your character sheet and equip them. Okay. That'll be your whole turn is doing that. Then. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, it is, uh, but not a bad move. Smart move. Uh, the trouncer. You want to charge right. him right now? Yeah. Yeah. Go Can I charge him? So first with the trident. Mm-hmm. I'm rolling. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. 20. 20, you strike him. Okay, and then I'll do the damage. Oops. Clear, okay. And plus two on top of it. Okay, so seven damage. Uh, take your take your attack with the... Um, charge? With the charge, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I got a 20. 20. The 25 oh, total. 20. Yeah, so uh, I got 25 uh, total. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm this is called the tra- this is why they call me the trouncer. So you do uh, double damage to so roll the damage twice or roll the dice twice. So it'll be two uh, d four plus um, three, I believe it is. Okay, so twice. All right, four plus. Yeah, it's two d four plus five, I believe. Okay, so ten total. Ten damage. Okay, so you go up and you you skewer this guy. You can see him like 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 he's like he's like shaking as he's dying and stuff like that. And then you pull the trident out harsh, but before his body even can like slump over, your hoof comes down on his chest and goes right through his rib cage. <laughs> nice. And and you you can see like the damage you've done to his armor. His armor is like annihilated from what you've done to him, but he is certainly dead. Okay. That's from all, all my rage for being a prisoner yeah. in this pit. So you guys, so you guys see the trouncer like I mean, you know, he he does he trounces he he does this thing move right. Um, <laughs> And uh, do we hear like a voice in the wind say fatality? (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, um, so I'm whispering it in the background. Fatality. (laughs) I tell you, man, that was actually I'm gonna tell you one of the Comic Con a few years back. I met Ed Boon, and I was like, thank you. Really? I was like, yeah, thank you for my childhood. Yeah, seriously. (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) That's the guy who did the voices for those that don't know. So bad. Well, I mean, he's the producer of all Mortal Kombat. He's Mr. Mortal Kombat. Like, still, yeah, right? still. He's, he's, yeah, yeah. He, he was in a bunch of, yeah, he's, 
he's a nice guy. He was actually pretty funny. Um, but uh, all right, so you um, you guys stand over these two bodies um, in the distance. You can in the dust. You start seeing actually a few people coming forward a little bit here. Um, survivors. Some are eh, and some are not in good shape. Um, but you're standing over these bodies that are these well armed guards. Um, they have uh, they do have um, uh, chainmail and shields. I'll take the chainmail as well off the guy I had been already in the process of taking. Okay, so you have you pull up and you give them chainmail. Does um, he have any key? Does he have a key or anything while I'm doing this? I'm uh, they have the keys shackles. to the manacles. Uh, all right, I'm definitely taking that and I'll, I'll toss those to Morbarn. Okay, yeah, Morbarn, you can get out of your manacles, no problem. And then as far as weapons go, they have morning stars. <laughs> Is that better than a mace? Um, yeah, it's better than the mace. Uh, you 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 might do better with uh, uh, daggers, though. Or um, and then the group does have a stash of weapons somewhere in the camp as well. Okay, so, I'm, I want to collect the dagger through, so okay. I don't forget that. Um, you do find you find your you get your dagger back, and uh, you do find on each of these guys another two uh, a dagger each space. So now you have three daggers. Cool. Um, and I can I can modify that and cheat for you real quick if you want to. I'll, I'll grab a morning star, I suppose. <laughs> A key transfer could use one. You know, I forgot. I had a, uh, I had a, a quarter staff when I was fighting Trouncer. Do I still have it? Yes, you do. Oh, okay. Well, fuck. I gotta use that, but that's all right. That's fine. I still got. It. You still got. It. I wanted to warm up my fists. <laughs> yeah. Wake I don't know up. about you guys, but I do not want to clean up this fucking mess. So. <laughs> um, yeah, let's you, get out of here. As you, have you, as you have slain these two guards. Um, and you begin to go through the bodies, finding, uh, like I said, a pair of morning stars, sh- pair of shields, one set of chainmail. The other set is annihilated. It was, it was destroyed by the trouncer. Um, but you you do kind of arm up a little bit and look around, and you do see a few of the other um, uh, rep, like the other laborers, kind of coming towards you and looking towards you, maybe. But it's unclear on how you want to get out of here or how to even get out of this place. But it does look like you're. Um, you have a fighting chance if you are approached by more guards. Fight our way out. What's that? Fighting our way out. I suppose. Fighting your way out. Yeah. Getting a bunch of these people. I don't know. Okay, real quick, just to review. This is Norvar talk. Norvar talking. Uh, Saria, uh, you. I thought I heard something in the cave. Would you know this zone? Uh, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere, right? Like we should. If we're gonna take off, we need to grab some supplies and we're not gonna have a very long, we're not gonna have a lot of time to grab stuff before they start making sense of what's going on here and somebody really powerful shows up. So we gotta get as fast as possible. But you would, would you say that we need some supplies before we just blindly go out there? Yeah, I think a few of us uh, took a little bit of damage. So it'd be nice to find some way to cure our wounds. Anybody know where stuff is that isn't <laughs> under that <laughs> thing? Could we ask some of the people that are just standing around? Well, they probably want actually help. Would I know? There. Would I know where they used to bandage like gladiators and? Um, yeah, it would. It would be um, under the wreckage of the tower. That's not going to help. <laughs> um, <laughs> it did fall. It did fall directly <laughs> on the arena. All right, that's like, the arena's largely gone. Perfect. Fucking perfect. Okay, from what I know of the camp, as we're like kind of talking, I'm looking over the wreckage. So, what areas are still okay? Um, like, you can see that one of the areas that does the processing, uh, like where you guys kind of entered it, is still intact. Um, some of your um, the um, the dormitories are still intact, um, along with uh, where they kind of like sip through uh, the the minerals. Uh, the sorting is still kind of, is still intact. <laughs> No indication of where they keep equipment or supplies or food that would have been made. Um, yeah, there is some the food in the dormitories. There's some. There is like kind of like a commas, not a commissary, but I don't know, capture what the hell you want to call mess hall. Yeah. But they they do have they do have some food over there. Okay, guys, uh, what do you guys think? Should we just bail and trust uh, our luck, or do we? I mean, we, I know we have cliffs to climb, or do we want to go in? this biz but i think the longer we stay here the more likely we're going to get overwhelmed well my question yeah. is like where, where are we going what's the plan <laughs> anywhere we, but yeah, here like, let's leave but i mean like where, I yeah mean, yeah we want to get the hell out but 
to where? We're in a wasteland. I mean, I know a bar in a city. <laughs> you mean that bar? <laughs> There's this place called the Shimmering Shaft. <laughs> the Shimmering Shaft. I'm I used to dance the there. I used there. to dance there, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 they always have a place for me. Six, I mean, I hate to say 6.15 it. on a Wednesday afternoon, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are we going? Like, what is the... I mean, yeah. you know, I, I had just settled on a way. So... <laughs> yeah. Towards the uh, sun, I don't but know. But I mean, do you guys want, I mean, <laughs> do you guys want to get anything? Do we need anything here? Like, I, I don't know it, anywhere from right here where I'm not smashing rocks for undead mm -hmm. bitches. Maybe we uh, can uh, quickly raid the dormitories. <laughs> like, spit, like, just do it real fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, does anybody, did I ever find out, uh, did I ever find out, John, where like they might keep like weapons or anything more and the um, other supplies you, for guards? They don't. Uh, there is a there is a guard um, barracks towards on the other side of where they do the processing for you. So you suspect that maybe they might have stuff over there. Okay, and that's not damaged by no. the thing. No, it didn't fall that direction. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a very sh shady history, as much as I am for looting a place. Uh, I mean, you know, this is a terrible place. We should probably leave. Should we help some people? Why you gotta ask me that? Because you know I have to answer. Yeah, and, there, and as you guys are standing there debating this, there's people coming from the rubble, like, like, like looking at you for like leadership. Nah, son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> uh, we could send them to the dormitory. Like, <laughs> okay, I know, but I'm still working on being a good one. Uh, okay, so like, if you're gonna ask me, then I have to do something if you're not asking me then i can roll with it i was like okay why don't we all lead everybody to the dormitories but let's just hurry and not live here so i'll go ahead and like make a face a, a visible like annoyed face and then turn around and be like okay everybody everybody let's get over to the dormitories anyone who's hurt and let's start helping each other and let's all move to this let's all go to the dormitories where there's medical supplies. Dude, you stole that from the Bible and Moses. All right. No, okay, so you start telling that to everybody and everyone's kind of like, like, okay. And they, a few of them actually take off running for it, like looking to grab stuff. And it's there's actually a few that come past you and start kind of going over the bodies of these guards. Um, some kick them, you know? Um, but they're okay. trying to like find anything of value on the bodies. All right, everybody, new plan. Fuck this place. Let's all <laughs> fuck this up. Punk rock. Like, punk rock. All right. <laughs> That's like, we're all getting out of here. Right. Look, we got it. And then I turned to them. I was like, we're going with the moment. And there, Let's just get the fuck out of here. There's, like, there's actually like a, a good group of people that actually aren't trying to like, they're actually like, they're not going to leave your side. Probably about 10 or about ten or 15 people that aren't going to leave your side because they look how, like they're freaked out. How hurt are they? Um, some of them are pretty injured, um, and even they're walking are good enough to walk around, but they're not going to be able to sit there and like fight very well, or they're not going to be able to. Um, they might be able to help you with some stuff, but they're not going to be able to like do multi-day treks across the desert in their current shape. Great. Okay. Well then. All right. Hi everyone to the dorms, and let's get our shit. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, you know, it's like, that's you, what you, I'm... You go back to the dormitories. Uh, it doesn't take much time. You go back, you you find a pretty good amount of supplies. Um, Deb, because there's a lot more food than there than there is people in now, because a lot of people got wiped out, uh, you guys can all easily find 10 days of rations. Nice. Okay. Well, okay. So make sure you have it on your sheet or whatever, maybe. Yeah. But and can I how, add... How, uh, safe, how safe is this, this area? Um, in terms of guards? Or uh, yeah, like, just in general. I mean, what, what um, we you guys a, see, you guys do see some guards once in a while. Like you do see a few in the distance, but it looks like they're more interested in trying to contain you inside the pit than to try to like sit there and beat you up in the pit. So it looks uh, like they're actually trying to secure the front processing, the, the the gates, if you will. Would we be able to take a short rest? Oh sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's a big. I want to do that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Did I grab any medical kits? Can I? Am I finding uh, that kind of supplies? No, you don't find okay. any. You don't find the supplies. You do find some bandages and stuff like that. You could definitely stop stem the bleeding of someone, but you don't have stuff like like all the the ointments and shit you need. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll well, uh, God damn it. I was, while everyone's resting or, or trying to get taking stock, I'm going to try and like help some of the people that are following us. Yeah. You, you, hold them out. you set, nice. you set folks up with splints, bandages, stuff like that. Um, yes. stem the bleeding on whatever it is, clean up some wounds, uh, the best you can by all means. Yeah. I'll start helping with that too. Yeah. You and Asaria uh, take care of a lot of people. You help out probably about, like 10 people total. Have these? They're a little bit better. <laughs> <state. Yeah. laughs> right. Um, Trouncer, the, the one thing you do notice is that some people like look at you with like you get some people are kind of like in awe of you, and some people are like scared shitless of you. I'll just uh, say do as do as the paladin says, and we'll all survive. I'll just sort of back up what uh, Norvar said. Like the worst advice I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> That's not reassuring at all. You basically yeah. threaten. I'd them. be like, don't be, yeah, don't be scared. Don't be scared. We'll we'll uh, make it out of here alive. Uh, yeah. I lean over. like, what are you trying to help for? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Let's get out of here. You're terrifying. Yeah, it's, I would like to leave as soon as we possibly uh, can. Can uh, real quick, more barn. Can you make a um, just roll a d twenty for me? You got it. Watch how seamless and quickly I do this. <laughs> like a ninja. Like a ninja. Hit, hit die. As long as you roll uh, well. Six. Or not. Six. Okay. <laughs> um, so in, your, in your time underground and such like that, you have managed to pocket a few precious stones. So I'm going to add those to your sheet for you. Um, but you do have a few... Um, like, so if you did get out of here, you would have effectively what is cash on you. Yeah. Um, and and, and um, what's it called? Uh, gems are kind of like the universal currency, if you will. Okay. Um, like, everybody's going to take them, so. But okay, cool. So I'll, I'll have this for your position here in a moment. But, so I've pretty much yeah. we've got some people stabilized here. I'd like to leave if you guys would like to before the guards, like, really get themselves together. Yes. Centaur knows what's up. All yeah. right. <laughs> I've never seen the outside world. Let's get, yeah, let's get out of yeah, here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, you guys literally are ready to make escape. Uh, what's your escape plan? Are you going to try to climb the walls? Or are you going to try to go out the front gate? Let's go out. I mean, Centaur, the Centaur cannot climb the walls. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like we're going out the front fucking door. <laughs> yeah. I literally, yeah. say, I literally go. Well, we could either cl climb the wall, or and then I look at the hooves and I go. Or the front gate. We can go to the front <laughs> yeah. gate. And yeah, yeah I flex at you when you say the walls and when you say front gate. I'm like, yes. Okay. Do we yeah. notice that there's a lot of guards towards the front gate? Um, you, You've noticed an absence of them, and people have kind of told you what they've seen. So you get kind of the word on the street. Okay. Uh, so and and, everyone's, and everyone's pretty willing to communicate with you guys. Like everyone's willing, If you ask them information, they'll tell you what they've seen. They're not going to like bullshit you guys. Honestly, so, so, so with my charisma of 10, I'm just, I'm strutting to the front gate. Okay. I got like a swagger. I'll just get right out. Right. Do we want to bring? I'm like, I'm going to whisper, like, do you want us to bring everyone? That might be a good idea. Ooh. You mean some more bodies to absorb hit points? Is that well, I meant more bodies. Oh, I like that. Armor. I like that. I did I, armor. To, to, act, to answer that, you're like, some more, do you want some me more bodies? I go, well, technically, I wanted to help people to get them the fuck out of here. But I mean, you know. So maybe we should give them a choice. Hmm? That's a good call. If they want yeah. to. So I turn to people as we're getting ready to go and saying, like, hey, everyone, we're out of here. Yeah, it may get rough, uh, but we're out of here. And anyone who wants to come, you're welcome to follow. But we're going for it. Otherwise, those of you who want to stay, I'm sure they'll be back to help you medically and make your lives more miserable <laughs> as we continue <laughs> as soon as that's over. So. It's completely up to you, um, but this is what's happening. So, um, uh, sorry. By the way, the, the they do let you. I'm guessing the group lets you guys have access to the stash. Uh, they do give you a short sword. I added to your character sheet for you, so you have a short sword. Oh. So you have, you have a short sword and dagger. It's a lot better than being stuck. Do I have a sword? You have a morning star, dude. Yeah. Okay. Morning star's good. <laughs> morning star's good for you. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I can use anything. Gonna blade. I want a blade. Why do they no, get to play the ball? I want to play the balloons. No, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, you know. The morning star, you're doing it bad. Yeah, no, I get it. It's really great. 
right. You're right. You're right. No, I mean, I'm really glad to have it. That's die right. plus five. That sounds good. So um, it sounds like you guys are going to just waltz up to the front gates and fight your way up. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, well, 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 when you put it that said, way, there was a lot of people there. That's why I had the, the big swinging dick confidence of walking up there. I didn't know that. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I guess I'm watching him. I was like, you don't want to just sneak. Up. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. All do right, I do I get my do I get my key points back with the short rest? Uh, I I care how key points work on the key points come back. Uh, short rest, yeah, for short rest, yeah. You got them back. Oh yeah, I'm totally going right out there. <laughs> does, does the short rest count if like I w we would have a, yeah, the half elves were like working yeah, you're with fine. all the people? You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. Wait, so did we we had a short rest? Correct. Yeah. So you, if you were down to hit points, you could blow hit dice. Um, yeah, for you, do. it wouldn't. It doesn't restore your spells, but that's that's about it. So, but you can blow hit dice if you want to. Yeah, I use the hit dice to. How do I do that? Um, what you would do then is you go into where is it? Uh, oh, there's a there's a there's a thing at the top of the sheet that's short rest. And you click that. Oh, there it is. Check that out. I, I've never used this, you know, before myself. Yeah. Uh, and then, oh, wow. And then you click the like where it says like ranger, uh, and you would just roll the die, take short rest, and then confirm it, and it'll, yeah, spend it. You have this hit dice, and just roll that, that hit die for you. I didn't ask. Did any? Is anyone in really rough shape? Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I healed myself. Yeah. I used to hit die. Good. The rest well, was good. Aren't you all just over here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I don't have to help yeah. you right now. I mean, you, you wouldn't be disguised by wearing the guard's armor, would you? I mean, would we be able to disguise? Yeah, you could. I pretty much look like a guard at this yeah, point. Yeah, you look like a guard. You believe you might be able to pull it off, actually. All right. And you have high charisma, so you're actually pretty convincing. Wait, I am oh, charming. Sorry. Don't don't worry about it. I, I I'll get it for you. I got I got it okay, all your actually. Cool. So you're you're good. You're back at full. You're worth that. You worth that beat up actually. So I think all you guys actually did pretty well in that combat, all things considered. Um, and like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, I don't know how, how, how good Michael's doing, but I, don't, I think the trouncer, I don't know if he had a blow hit dice. Oh, you did, yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I blew a hit die. Yeah, now I'm at 26. So, um, so it sounds like, here's the plan. Uh, Norovar is going to disguise himself and go up there and see what he can get. The rest of you are going to see if you can rally up some of the folks to help you. Anything else? Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see. There was an extra shield, right? There was a shield. There was an extra shield, yeah. Did anybody want to grab that shield? I uh, wanted a two gun fighter, uh, Sar Sar uh, Saraya. Uh, Saraya, excuse me, sorry. Saraya, you could go, t you could take the shield and use it with your um, with your short sword if you want to instead. It'll help you feel hard to hit. But it's up to you. But dual wielding ain't bad either, so. Yeah, I'm okay with dual wielding. Okay. I'll grab the shield then. I can grab a shield and a trident. Yeah, there you go. You won't okay. be able to pull off uh, your uh, net attack with it, but like you can then, um, you can certainly have your, uh, you can still hook people, so. Okay, yeah, I'll just grab it for now. Yeah, I've actually become a big fan of, um, it, it will, uh, you will only be doing the um, the D6 with a trident, then, though, but yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've actually become a big fan of uh, sword board uh, barbarians, actually. Like long sword shield barbarians, dope, actually. It's very sick. Nice. I, thought you said, I thought you said surfboard barbarians. So. Surfboard <laughs> barbarian, dude. That's, right. that, that, that was a, 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 a treatment I submitted to Troma. And it, it didn't take. <laughs> nice. It didn't take, yeah. You know, just a small, small, tiny segue. I did not know, and I was a huge fan of Troma in high school in the 90s and uh it's very hard to watch now oh yes yeah. when i have kids and it's hard to see <laughs> you know, bash brains and all that but i didn't know that uh, james gunn wrote tromeo and juliet yeah yeah i because yeah, people were like well, talking huh? about how great he was i was like holy shit he did tromeo yeah. and juliet <laughs> yeah. it's it's crazy man yeah that that's what's crazy it's like how the fuck you get a career dude like <laughs> yeah from that I mean, yeah. I liked it, but no one else did, obviously. Oh, it was you know, horrible. Uh, it was horrible. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, here, sorry, continue. So, okay, so, so it sounds like here's the deal. I have a uh, Norabar is going to go up and try to work his charm and see if he can get some information. Uh, the rest of you are going to kind of like waltz up there. I'm sorry, did you just want to say, Andrea? I'm sorry, you were raising your hand. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I'm just gesturing because it's like. 
Let's do it. It's happening. It's happening. Okay, cool. So um, we'll pick it up next time with the uh, advance on the gates. Nice. nice. Awesome. Cool, guys. That was fun. That yeah, was that was awesome. Fun. That was super Very much fun. So. It was nice meeting everyone. Yeah. yeah. Right Boys, back at you. Next Likewise. Wednesday, man, you'll, you'll yes. see you again. Everyone's super cool, man. It's, it's a good group. I'm really happy with this one. I've had a lot of fun with it. And it's, hopefully, it's, uh, for those of you that have the flavor of it, it's a little source and sorcery-ish. Enough for you. The oh, yeah. I'm yeah. a little more promising. That's what I was going for. Yeah, I like oh, yeah. it. I like the escape from the pit. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs>